Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and another horror movie night. Tonight, I will be reviewing Flight of the Living Dead, released in 2007. Directed by Scott Thomas, from a script by Thomas, Mark Onspo, and Sidney Iwanter. Starring David Chisholm, Kristen Kerr, Kevin J. O'Connor, Richard Tyson, Raymond J. Berry, Todd Babcock, Derek Webster, Sienna Gons, Eric Avari, Brian Thompson, Heidi Marnout, Miko Hillman, Dale Midkiff, and David Spielberg. Now this film, I am more aware of it under its original title of Plain Dead. In fact, um, the version of the film that I have is uh, through the title, Plain Dead. Um, and one thing about this that, that I've seen the artwork and everything for this new titled version with Flight of the Living Dead, which first of all, Flight of the Living Dead, with that title, it makes it sound like it is a sequel to the Romero Dead series or something. And technically, it, it has more in line with uh, Return of the Living Dead than it, than it does um, any of that. But it's not even a sequel to that or a part of that. Um, but... I like the title of uh, Plain Dead better, and I like the art better because, I mean, that art does not give away any characters getting turned into zombies. Whereas, um, if I would have saw the current artwork for Flight of the Living Dead, I would have been very angry because it gives away um, a character that I kind of liked in this, and since I watched the Plain Dead version of it, where that wasn't spoiled by this movie poster that shows that character as a zombie, um, and that character is, spoiler alert here, um, if you have not seen this movie, go see it, whether you see it as Plain Dead or whether you see it as Flight of the Living Dead, you're probably most likely going to only be able to find it as Flight of the Living Dead now, but... Christian Kerr's character of Megan is a stewardess on the flight, and she has two friends, Heidi Marnout's Emily and Miko Hillman's Stacy. And, unfortunately, that stupid Flight of the Living Dead artwork, cover art, whatever you want to call it, really does give away the fact that Emily and Stacy are going to get turned into zombies on this, especially Emily. And I hate that because whenever I watched it, I really liked Heidi Marnout in her role as Emily. And uh, when she got attacked and, and got bit and eventually turned into a zombie, I was really slightly disappointed there because I really liked her character um and i really liked um miko hillman's character of uh, stacy as well and she got turned uh as well and uh you know artwork gives get, that gives away characters getting turned in a zombie movie especially um that sucks um like i said the, the plain dead cover art did not give away that any of these characters were going to do this. So I love the fact that I was able to watch this movie without the spoiler, but uh, I hate the fact that this movie has this poster art that gives this... I know it's not a big thing because, I mean, she gets turned fairly early. Um, both of them do. Um, but, yeah, the Emily character was my, was my favorite out of those three stewardesses. And the Megan character um, ends up becoming... A major character in the in the ending of the film, but the rest of the cast in this are fairly likable as well. Um, David Chisholm as Truman Burroughs is I've never seen him in anything else. I don't think, but he's pretty damn good in this. 
And then, of course, you have the reunion of um, mummy actors. You know, these two actors were in the original mummy movie with Brendan Fraser. So you get Kevin J. O'Connor and Eric Avari in this together. And uh, they, you know, they are playing totally opposites what they were playing in The Mummy. Now, Kevin J. O'Connor does still play like a comic relief character in this, playing Frank Strathmore. But he, uh, he isn't as comic relief and goofy as he was in The Mummy. Um... And Eric Avari is, like I said, he's just the opposite of what he was in that, too. But he was playing a pretty decent character in The Mummy in there. And in this, he's playing a bit of an asshole um, that uh, eventually gets his comeuppance in there. Uh, so it was different getting to see him play something like that after getting to see him in The Mummy and everything. But a lot of... Uh, Faces that you'll recognize are in this film. You have uh, Richard Tyson as Paul Judd, and he is just so cool in here. I've always liked Richard Tyson. He's a cool actor. And uh, the whole movie, I was just... Uh, I was just like, he's too cool. Don't make him get turned into a zombie. And... Uh, and everything and and uh, thankfully uh it didn't go that route so uh Richard Tyson's a pretty cool um heroic character in this and the one that I another one that I don't know like David Chisholm is Derek Webster who was playing um Billy Freeman um now he is almost like a Tiger Woods kind of a character in here on this flight with his wife, played by Sienna Goins as Anna, and um, he gets some of the most heroic and coolest stuff against these zombies um, for quite a while in there. Um, and you know, it uh, it almost looked like he was going to be the one of the big heroes by the end of it, but. Uh, wasn't meant to be for him, but I'll give him some credit. Uh, by the end of the film, he, he does take quite a few uh, zombies with him. Another actor in this film is Brian Thompson playing a character named Kevin. Now, I've always liked Brian Thompson. I loved him playing the main villain in Cobra, but uh, yeah, he doesn't get the best character in this. He is basically dispatched pretty quickly and everything by the zombies, unfortunately. Um, the other actors in this that are names that are faces that you might recognize is uh, Dale Medkiff and David Spielberg playing these doctor characters of Dr. Lucas Thorpe and Dr. Conroy. Now, Dr. Lucas Thorpe is the one that basically sets things up in this thing. He's got his wife, who is the zombie that starts the whole thing. But she's not a zombie yet. She is being kept on ice and frozen. And something happens with the turbulence that causes her uh, freezing chamber to, dis you know, defrost and she comes out of it and is confused, scared, and then this dumbass um, guard ends up shooting her and basically it basically turns her into the first zombie of the film in which everything starts snowballing from there. Um, so ironically, yeah, um, Dale Mitkiff has another wife that gets turned into a zombie that uh, ends up killing him, kind of just like in uh, Pet Cemetery. Um, and then uh, David Spielberg plays this doctor, um, not on the flight. He's he's on the ground and everything, and, and he's always solid. You you, know, you don't always know his name, but you see him in a film, you recognize him immediately just by his face. 
Um, this was uh, his last film, um, sadly. Um, after this film, he kind of just started doing more TV work, I guess, and, and then uh, eventually he passed away. Um, so, um, kind of a downer that this was his last film, feature film that he did. But, um, overall, I think, um, this film is really, really good. And I mean, whether you see it as Flight of the Living Dead or see it as Plain Dead, like I said, I prefer that title, Plain Dead. Um, my final review on this film, I'm going to give this film a... 8.7 out of 10. I think it is a very well-executed zombie film. Um, and being in this closed space on this plane, it really is claustrophobic and creepy, you know, having these zombies, having to try and survive them on this flight. So um, I would recommend this movie to anyone who hasn't seen it. Um, but have you seen it? If you have, let me know in the comments down below. Did you see it under the title Plain Dead or did you see it under the title Flight of the Living Dead? Um, and which title do you prefer for this film? Um, anyway, um, if you enjoyed this review, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell icon so you can be notified about future videos just like this one. And while you're by the subscribe button, click that join button and become a Dark Knight fan. As a Dark Knight fan, you have a post right now that you can go to as a plus member. You can put down that you want me to do a movie review, TV show, or even a ranking video. And once I do that video, it'll go up on the plus side of things on the channel before it will go live on the channel for everyone else. So all plus members will be able to see any reviews that are requested um, before they go live. So one of the real cool perks of uh, being a Dark Knight Fans Plus member. So if you wanted to be interactive, now is your chance. Well, that's it for another horror movie night. If you missed last week's horror movie night video, you can check it out in the link above. Or, if you have missed any of our videos on Horror Movie Night, check out this playlist, and you can check out anything that you've missed.